heart is a muscular organ located in the center of chest and it pumps 6 to 7 liters of blood every minute to supply nutrients to the whole body. Heart needs its blood from the coronary artery to get its nutrients so that it can work efficiently and continuously. Heart gets its blood supply via three coronary arteries. The various reasons for developing coronary artery disease are high blood pressure, diabetes, obesity, high blood cholesterol, lack of physical activity, smoking, and unhealthy diet. Blockage in coronary arteries may not necessarily cause symptoms. However, after the progression of blockage to more than 70%, person starts getting symptoms. In the form of chest pain, breathlessness, decreased exercise capacity, and may lead to heart it's attack. It's advisable to seek doctor's advice for these symptoms. You may be advised a comprehensive cardiac checkup, which includes ECG, ECO, treadmill, and complete blood tests. You may be advised a coronary angiogram depending upon report of these tests. After an angiogram, cardiologist may advise you a medical management, which includes lifestyle modification, quit smoking, eat healthy food, lose excess weight and reduce stress. The medicines to improve symptoms may be tried. These include aspirin, sorbitrate, beta blockers, cholesterol lowering drugs, asynipters. However, if the blockage is severe, you may be advised procedures to restore blood and improve blood flow to the heart in the form of angioplasty stenting or coronary artery bypass grafting, commonly called as bypass operation. Angioplasty and stenting is done under local anesthesia. In cath lab, a needle is used to assess the femoral artery in the groin and a guide wire is passed to reach the heart. A guiding catheter is then passed on this wire to reach the coronary artery. This wire is then passed across the blocked artery which subsequently dilated and a with the balloon and a stent is deployed. Coronary artery bypass grafting is done either in a conventional way in which the heart is stopped and a heart lung bypass machine is used during the bypass operation or the bypass is done on a beating heart. During a conventional bypass operation, a midline incision is given on the chest and the sternum is cut in the middle. The internal memory artery located behind the chest bone is taken to be used to bypass the blocked artery. A vein is taken by a separate cut in the leg. A radial artery from the left forearm may be used to bypass the blocked artery. So in a conventional bypass procedure, surgeon uses one internal memory artery, one or two veins from the and leg, and a cut in the forearm for radial artery to complete bypass grafting. So, to bypass all blocked arteries, you may require two or three cuts depending upon number of blocked arteries. Bilateral internal memory artery, commonly called as beta grafting, is not a generic operation. This requires taking out both internal memory arteries from behind the chest wall. These arteries are then joined together with very fine sutures
then the entire heart is bypassed with these two arteries. This is a very skilled operation and carries the advantage over a conventional bypass grafting as the aorta, the artery which carries blood to the entire body is not touched so it minimizes the risk of stroke offers multiple arterial grafts depending upon number of blocked arteries you may receive up to six grafts no extra cut on the leg or arm recovery is faster overall it's a better operation which prolongs life beta operation is like a good wine which gets better with time we here at hero dmc heart institute use beta grafting for all our patients and have already done more than 1000 operations we strive to give the best possible solution for coronary artery disease to all our patients.